What's good, Uncle Fools? Welcome back to the Watching McQueen Channel. Yes, sir, we are back. Okay, today is Friday. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Okay, today we're about to react to the homie, Crit Mac. You know what I'm saying? It's been long overdue. I know this is probably a video a lot of you guys have already seen, but you guys have told me to react to this nigga. I know who he is, um, but I, I've never seen this video, I swear. So, um, that's what we're about to, that's what we're about to do right now. Just want to say I appreciate all the, uh, the new Alpha Force members that are joining. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or even if you're not new, if you're just transferring from the old channel, I appreciate you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep going up. Um, and yeah, man, um, let's just keep going it up. I guess so. You know, that's all, really all I got to say. But all right, man, Crip Mac, here it is. Let's get it. Oh, that's cold old English right here. See, I'm watching these streets also and these weird ass niggas in these cores, nigga. This shit ain't a game. I like to let motherfuckers know around the world it get real tricky, it get real Mickey, it get real dangerous. My goddamn, he can't fit the fifth street, you enter it. Cause, great man, I would. But I'll fuck your wife, Custer. <laughs> I'ma keep it 55th straight. Who's Custer? A <laughs> Custer is a buster with a C on the motherfucking crib. Something nifty on 50s. What does it mean to be uh, nifty? You tell a sitch you want to bust her pussy and asshole open, you find me, and you're going to have a nifty issue with her. Yeah, you find me, you're going to do nifty things in that Motel 5 with that sitch. Let's go ahead and keep it 55th straight. This 55th straight. How long have you been hanging out here for? Oh, I got put on, cut. I was a teenager. What does it mean to get uh, put on? Okay, well, I can take you in the alley. One of y'all want to catch a friendly fade with Crip Mac? Nick wants to get put on. Come on, cut. Come in the alley. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. No custer shit. Come on. I fight anybody. I don't give a fuck. I'm a good Crip. Nick, how do you feel? I'm a little nervous. I've never been put on. Oh, okay. Why all gangsters squabble up like that, bro? Oh, just all of them like this, nigga. That shit is funny, bro. <laughs> Fight back. Come on, just me. Swing. This nigga really funny. <laughs> Fight back. Come on, Nick. Swing. Swing. Swing, Nick. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Make a crap. First motherfucking video, man. They come in the motherfucking 55th Street Alley and actually attempt a 55th Street fade. Cuz I got more heart than all these other custer ass motherfucking video people out here. You would have never made the cut. I'm gonna keep it 55th Street. But if you would have stayed back here and more mothers would have came, you kept on fighting. As long as you get up and keep fighting, that's it. I would, uh, everything would have seen all right. Cuz you would have eventually got put on. You gonna name him Dynamite Blue. Dynamite Blue, cuz I like the blue at the end of it. In the county jail, you gangbang, Nick, they gonna punch the shit out of you. Remember, if you ever do a lot of time in jail, never commit suicide. <laughs> what the hell? Thank you. All oh, hood. All oh, hood! All oh, hood, fool! It's all about having heart, okay? You don't see scared of nobody bigger than you. And that's on a dead one, fully. Okay, this nigga, I fucking crib back, bro. <laughs> This nigga funny as hell, bro. <laughs> Tell him again, Crip Mac. It's all about having heart, okay? You don't see scared of nobody bigger than you. And that's on the dead ones, nigga. I understand on neighborhood Crip. Look, look, right. Bring that big fucking thing of water out that fucking back of that car. Who pay from 46 neighborhood Crip? So she's from the 40s right up the street. Okay? <laughs> she is not, bro. She is not from the 40s, bro. Oh, she might be from the 40s, but she's not in the 40s. I'm like, bro, it's no way, nigga. 46 neighborhood Crips, so she's from the 40s right up the street. <laughs> oh, Rupert's a great woman. She's an assistant. She helps me with a lot of things out here. How long have you guys been together for? We're not in a relationship. Really? No, okay. That's my driver. I had no idea. I thought you guys were in a relationship. Bro! I'm his homegirl, bro. You know, it's a difference between sitches and homegirls, you know. I don't gotta, you know, wear his whistle or nothing like that. If I mean, she gonna keep her grip and her gang banging She said, I don't gotta wear his whistle. she gonna stay snow. She isn't. They gonna respect her like we respect Lupe. You five me? Who's the prettiest girl you ever, uh, you know, did the thing with? Okay, pretty. That's That's hard. Yeah, that's a hard question, y'all. That nigga sweating his ass off. Okay, let's get you two. Okay, let's do a um, Shaniqua. Shaniqua, she is uh, the top. And uh, keep it 50 fair straight, you find me. We'll do Stacy Mac. What do you want to be when you get like, like what's your what's your life goal? Well, I told you I want to own the stuff, five the kids, the gyms and shit. Some big booty, beautiful sitches, they can run the program. Give back five the community as I fight, see, fight, see, fight, successful. But over money? I ain't never gonna change. I am snoo the fuck I am. I'm gonna keep it 55th straight. 
okay with not having any of the face tattoos? Oh, uh, I'm gonna give me 50 fair straight just to sit your name on my face. But all the gang whack outs, I love them. I'm about them and they're never coming off. I don't give a fuck. You got a million right now, cuz. I'm gonna spit on that motherfucker on neighborhood grip. Me and Lupe gonna go get our money out the mud. Would you say the kids should stay in school and not join gangs? Well, kids, we're we gonna keep it 55th Street. Uh, kids, they should go to school. They should take care of their they family. Do shit for themselves. But you can't say every kid not gonna gangbang because a lot of kids want to do this shit. You gotta get prepared on neighborhood crib. Watch this car right here. Look, hey, you gotta park closer. Five feet closer. Just know, Crip Max said this is not a motherfucking game. Some people drink alcohol and they don't drink no water. That would kill you. You gotta eat, you gotta drink water, can be fire, you drink. It's not rocket science, motherfucker. Stay in school, do sports, get back, fight the community at the county, say your heart is you fight C, fight C, fight Cessna, 55th Street. He's a beautiful person. He's a beautiful person. He's always helping me. He comes by to see if I need anything, you know? See, I, I, I'm disabled. A lot of times he come by and he, he I don't have the, the money to, Get the parts I need for my, my weed eaters and lawnmowers, you know, because somebody stole my lawnmower. Come by and got me a weed eater, you know? Nah, I appreciate it. You know, I really do. And uh, he's very good, but he's, 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 he's a benefit to the neighborhood, but he's very intelligent, yeah. you know? And he has ideas, you know, he's a business-minded man. What, what are some of the ideas he has that you, that you like? The value of life itself. Your liberty end where the next man's liberty begins. And I've applied many days right here. You know, because I lost a lot of homies, a lot of loved ones. You know, I'm, I'm five five neighborhood crib, and I have no enemies. But uh, you can make me your enemy if you do something to me. Our neighbors have—they don't have to accept us, but we have to accept them. But when I see them, I know life has got it. I know God got it. Just because a nigga a gangbanger, see that's where they get shit fucked up. Niggas got problem with the media, enemies through the gang shit. Like them people downtown, people that's homeless, cause they don't gangbanging the babies and innocent people. They don't got shit to do with these politics we do out here, kid. Ma'am, would you like some pizza? God said you need pizza. God bless you. And remember, never commit suicide. Everything gonna see all right. Oh, nobody. It's better than anybody out here. We are all equal as people. Hey, sir, tacos over there. Get you some free tacos. And remember, never commit suicide. Everything gonna see all right. I'm gonna give it 55th Street. 55th Street, fool. We got tacos with HK toast sauce and Drea tacos. A lot of tacos. It means a lot. You know why? Like I said, nobody's better than nobody. How many people have you guys served here today so far? Like 50. 50 to 100. Uh, yeah. It's a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's called Channel 5. Yeah, YouTube channel, Channel 5? It's a YouTube show yes, called yes. Channel 5. Good. You find me a lot of people are in jail. They don't have their family. Their moms died. You just got to keep your head held up high. You never know, okay? You could have a great day, some shit like this. And something make you happy, okay? Enemy, you feeding them. Might say, fuck your dead homies and spit on you. I don't give a fuck about these cameras. I'm going to not uh, sleep. I'm going to do destruction. I'm literally, I'm, I'm a little crazy, cuz. I mean, a lot of people can see it. It's not an act. Have you always been crazy? I uh, think since I was younger. <laughs> what age do you think it? I think Randy Bear would say about uh, 10 or 12 years old around that. What kind of stuff started happening around that time? Well, just uh, was going back and forth with uh, Mama Bear's boyfriend. Then I uh, got in some snubble. What kind of trouble are you getting into super early? <laughs> you ever heard of uh, Ding Dong Ditch as a kid? Did you do that when you was a kid? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was more so just, just, just growing up from a house in another house, like five, like back and forth. I could go fight jail, do a gang of time cut, and have nowhere to I got this down here. These people are also people cut as I fight, see, fight, see, fight, fight. Well, And so I got something good going on from the bottom of my heart. Hey, sir, never commit suicide. Everything going to see you all right. Would you like a slice of pizza? Oh, no, I did, sir. Good what about <laughs> five later? You going to get hungry later, kid? Maybe after a couple beers or something? I'm going to drink. I'm a diabetic. All right, well, what about a pizza later when you get hungry? Oh, It's not rocket science. He took it. Everything going to see you all right. Going to see you all right, kid. Never commit suicide. Never commit suicide. Things get rough. Don't give up. Don't take your own life. Everything gonna see alright. Gonna see alright, girl. Never commit suicide.
Ah. You know if there's a, a concert happening nearby? Um, no, I don't pay attention to the concerts and shit like that. Is that what you were interested in? Well, it's a heavy metal band called Slipknot. You want to go to Slipknot? Uh, what, 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 what do they stand for? They stand for uh, hard rock metal music. They're from Iowa. They're like a... I mean, some, uh, some new uh, you know, nice white ladies with a nice ass. So let's go. I know they got some white cinches. <laughs> Yeah, this 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 probably is where like because I seen it was it was copyrighted in the, in, the, in this thing for Slipknot, so that's why I muted it. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's copyrighted, and I I'm sorry, you know, we're not finna get copyrighted out here. That's out. Yeah, you can hear all that. That's out. Yeah, it's my girlfriend's favorite band. All right. <laughs> Yeah, this look like nine guys that crowd. really. That <laughs> is nine guys that really just don't give a shit. Our music to their fucking core. Fucking give it to their fans. Give it to the maggots every fucking day. You know they got that loyalty and they got that just that drive to want to produce music that they love and that the fans love. They don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about them. Just like me, I got Uber Killer tatted on my motherfucking head. I'm a five five crip. I'm five missing. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. Yeah. For sure, man. Well, slip not concert with it. He does, he does. I Gucci, dig. Their energy, their life, because they have a passion for this music like no other fucking band. How many big booty sitches have you fucked off of this music, this good music? Uh, at least five. Oh, that damn. Actually, have Travis Scott tattoo. It's the Cactus Jack logo in Russia. It's like one of his designs. You got a man's name. Tatted on the side of your motherfucking body. Yeah. Why? I have the rage inside my body, so I got it on my body. All right, get up out of here. Hey, you know, I keep it 50 fifth straight. This type of music could go good with some uh, some great lyrics. So as I got put on in and out of jail, been my lifestyle. Bang it the set, young hood. Just go out wild, smashing anything that is tramping hood. Me and my locs up to no good. If not. Pure aggression. Just... Oh, good. What do you like about Slipknot? Pure aggression. Just violent. They don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. Nope. I like Slipknot. I don't do no cut. This <laughs> nigga's stupid, bro. What the hell? <clears throat> Alright, man. Well, that's it for this video, man. Make sure you guys like it.